slept. A thick forest grew around the tower, and nobody could get in. Nobody except for one man. Boys? The prince, right? Yes, the prince, that's right. The prince chopped his way up to Sleeping Beauty's tower, and he saw his true love and kissed her just once, sweetly on the lips. And that true love's kiss broke the spell. Sweet Sleeping Beauty woke up, and she lived happily ever after. It's my father! Daddy, talk to me! There's a wasp ranking at playing speed. Lord Aster clears his mind and tries to reach Molly. Daddy, are you there? Are you there? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, Daddy! The, Never the Neverland has the Queen's trunk aboard! Not in English. Too dangerous. Oh, Daddy, please don't speak in. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, not Dodo. <laughs> parrots. <laughs> A flock of parrots have taken over your ship. What, what idiot brought- Pirates! We've been taken over by pirates. Oh. <laughs> pirates. That hot eye sound is so tricky. Molly, with the wasp bearing down in the Neverland, steer clear of Black Stash and bring the trunk to me. Yes, sir. Careful, daughter. This is your mission now. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Scrap, skate, scrap, scrap, scrap. What are you doing? Um, uh, what? Uh, get below, boy. If Sykes sees you on deck, he'll rear up like. You were the... talking to your neck thing. No, I wasn't. I know what I saw. Well, there was a porpoise swimming alongside the ship, you see, and it was making those silly noises that porpoises make, and I just wanted to make some silly noises too. That's all. Uh-huh, so you were talking to a fish. Porpoises are not fish, they're mammals, just like you or Germans. <laughs> How come your neck thing is always blowing all by itself? It's for swimming. I'm a good swimmer. It's a swimming medal. Yeah, swimming, okay. And what star, sir? Decision. I'm going to trust you. Why? I'm just a boy. I know, pity. <laughs> you like to look up at the stars, right? Well... There they are. There's so many. They look safe up there, shining like diamonds. I like when they shoot across the sky. Shoot! Sometimes small bits fall from the sky. Can you keep a secret? I can. We can. <laughs> well, those small bits are called star stuff. The trunk in Slank's cabin is full of it, and there's some in here too in case I ever get in trouble. Whoa, star stuff, let me see. No! It changes people if they touch it. How? Different ways, depending on what they want to be. So if someone got their hands on the star stuff... And they're evil and greedy, like Genghis Khan, or they're hungry for world domination, like Caesar or Napoleon or, you know, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Didn't you learn anything at the orphanage? I was kind of busy trying not to die. Oh. Well, so, you're a... Star catcher. There's only six and a half of us on the planet. We use our special abilities in secret to keep things away from tyrants who try to rule the world. Well, Queen Victoria. God save her. No, that's different. She doesn't need star stuff to rule the world. She's British. <laughs> well, if star stuff's so dangerous, why are you looking for it? Because my father has to destroy it. Well, go on. Amaze with your special powers, then. What? I'm not some sort of magician, guy. This isn't a magic show. Fine. If you can't do anything... Fine. Whatever. To have faith is to have wings. Whoa. Satisfied? So the cat was flying. Come on, I want to fly like you and the cat. No, don't be ridiculous. My father's going to throw it in the hottest active volcano, Mount Jalapeno. <laughs> Where is that? Grandun, wouldn't you know it? Problem is, King Zarboff would kill for even a thimble of star stuff. That's perfect. You see, I'm going to be the king's helper, so I can just ask him. You're not going to be his helper. You're going to be snake food. Zarboff likes to buy orphans and feed them to his snakes. So, Grumpkin lied. Listen, if you want to help me, then help me get this trunk to my father, okay? They always lie. That's all they ever do. You know what? Why should I help you? Why should I help anybody? What's anybody ever done for me? But you! Oh Snake food, really? I thought I told you to stay in your cabin, you orphan slut! What exactly were you going to tell us we were? That's it! Bill Slank is drawing the line. I may not have been born with a spoon up me bum, but that don't mean I won't stir my tea with one! <laughs> Ew! Gross. You ain't going below! You're going over! What? Let go! Let me go! Zobar promised me his whole bleeding flea for what's in the 
trunk in me, Kevin! I um, hate grown-ups. Make like a cat. Take a long, long time to drown. No, please not overboard. I can't. Can't what? Swim. 